Hi, this is Colin from Mailshake. Mailshake lets you send mail from any Google Gmail account. But if you want to send from a separate email provider, you need to hook up an alias. This video walks through that process. You can use an alias for pretty much any email domain, but today we're going to use Outlook as our example. But the, the bottom line is you must your Google account must be able to send mail as that alias address, and it also must be able to receive the replies to that address. You can do that through automatic forwarding or POP or IMAP to check for new messages. Today we're going to use an Outlook account. First thing we need to do is connect our Google account. So for mail accounts, come down here to the plus sign, and we're going to connect our Google account that will be doing the sending. Click Allow, and we're all set. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go into our alias account. In this case, I'm going to use an Outlook account that I want to be able to send mail from. And we need to make sure that it can be used as an alias. We need to open up those options and, and make sure everything's set up correctly. So for Outlook specifically, in the options menu, there's a link called POP and IMAP on the left. And you need to make sure that this is enabled. So I have this set to yes, and you can click save, and then you're all set to go there. When you're using a G Suite account, you may need to enable a special security feature on your domain. So before I go into Gmail and get this alias hooked up, I need to flip that switch. So under um, my administrator panel for my G Suite account, I'm going to go to Apps, G Suite, I'm going to find Gmail in the list, scroll down to Advanced Settings, and then find and allow per user outbound gateways. So this is what's going to be needed so that you can send mail from an alias that's on its own SMTP server. So turn that on, click Save. Great. And again, this is a step that the administrator of your domain is going to have to do. So you may not have access to this personally. One other thing to be aware of is that this setting can take an hour or maybe as much as 24 hours to actually take hold. So if you do try to uh, add up, set up an alias and you run into issues, you may just need to wait a little while for this to go through. So the next thing we need to do is go to our Google account in Gmail that we've connected to Mailshake. Go to our settings. Click on accounts. And here we're going to add a mail account in this section here. So here's where I enter my email address that we've got on Outlook. I give Google my password to that account. If your email provider doesn't show up automatically here, you may need to look at your email provider's help section to figure out the server and the port that you need to have selected. It's a very good idea to have this SSL checkbox checked for security reasons. The other checkboxes are kind of personal preferences. Click Add Account, and there we go. So now our Google account can receive replies that are sent to this email address. The second half is we need to be able to send mail from this address. So I'm going to click Next here. I just want to keep this selected as Yes. Make sure the name is what you want it to be. OK, then I need to set up my SMTP server and port. And this may be automatically selected for you if Google knows what you're doing. Or if not, you'll need to check with your email provider to see what you should actually put in these text boxes. Enter my username, password. Click Add Account. Great. So then they're going to send us an email to confirm that we really want to do this. So we're going to go back to our Outlook. And here is the confirmation. There's a confirmation code right here. Copy that, go back into Gmail, paste this, and click Verify. And there you can see that it's set up to check mail from this account as well as send mail from this account. Now that that's set up, I want to test that it's going to work. 
So from a completely different email address, we're going to send an email to our Outlook address and see if it shows up in Gmail. I've got one ready to go here. I'm going to test this. Then we go back to Gmail and we can force Gmail to check the mail now if we want. We'll go to our inbox and here's my test. Great, so that's working. Now that I've confirmed that that's working, we need to go into Mailshake and finally set up our alias. So for the mail for the Google account that you've already connected, click the dot 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 menu and add alias. Put in your name that you want these emails to come from and now enter the alias address. Read these notes and agree to the terms and click save. And great, we're connected. So now whenever you start a campaign, you'll be able to send and receive mail through this address. So if you click on the campaign's link and click the plus button, you'll notice in the from address, you can choose your alias. So I'm gonna run a campaign to make sure this is working. I'll click next. And I'm gonna type in my email address that's completely separate from the Gmail account I've hooked up or the alias address. Create a simple message here. We can skip personalization and check the box and hit next. send out this campaign and then you'll need to wait until your sending calendar picks it up usually about five minutes okay once your campaign has been sent to that test address go into that go into that test recipients email account and click on the email that is in your inbox and we're gonna go ahead and reply to this and hit send go back to Mailshake and then we're going to need to wait between 5 and 15 minutes to see if this reply comes through. Okay, we'll click this refresh button. And now we see that we do have one reply. Keep in mind that the reply checking may take a little extra time when you're using an alias because Gmail will have its own schedule for pulling in those replies. And then Mailshake has its schedule for checking your Google account. So depending on how that offset works, it might create a little bit of a delay before your emails can be received. That's it for now. I hope this has been helpful and thanks very much for watching.